Okay, here's a photographic mystery. What do you think the answer is? <sighs> yeah, photographic mystery. It turns out that 80% of all highly beloved pictures, images, be it macro, nude people, blah, 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 are staged. Typically heavily staged, meaning lighting, you know, move your body like that, yeah. You know, you position stuff in the scene, you paint with light, it's time exposure. Heavily staged. Heavily staged encompasses a broad spectrum. So time exposure, astrophotography, um, lighting ratios with multiple strobes, positioning, clothing, uh, a lot of ha 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 ha, heavy editing in Photoshop. Because now photographers aren't photographers anymore. You also have to be not just a photographer, you got to be a graphic editor. It means that you have to make love to Lightroom. Oh, baby. Don't you hate that? Back in the day, instead of making love to Lightroom, we had to make love to the darkroom. Oh, my God. Maybe that's why they call it Lightroom. Because back in the day of film, after we took the shot, we had to make love to the darkroom. Literally. You made love and you made love to the dark room. That bezeler and larger, the chemicals that are gonna give me cancer. Yeah. The paper. Oh my god, the papers. You made love to the dark room. Now we make love to Lightroom. Creative cloud. <laughs> Maybe that's why they call it Lightroom. So Here's the photographic mystery. What do you think the answer is? Why is that the case? 80% of all really hardcore, heavily beloved shots are ha, 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 heavily staged. <sighs> Same is true back in the days of photo. Remember that movie, photojournalism? It's called The Public Eye. Everybody had downloads. Joe Pesci's got a cigar in one hand and his mouth, and he's got his. Uh, got a camera in his pocket and a camera in his back pocket and he said that crying babies are worth more money to sell <laughs> so when you take a picture of like a of a something horrible you like go up and you pinch a baby and make them cry and then you step back and take a picture because if there's a crying baby in the picture it's worth more money it's like there's a baby in that picture but he's got his thumb in his mouth it's like go up and pinch him really hard <clears throat> they would actually do that that's a true story by the way totally true Secrets of early photojournalism. If there's a baby in the picture, pinch it if you can. Make it cry. Urgh! Scare it. If you can't pinch it because the mom's right there, scare the baby. I'm not advocating this, by the way. I'm saying that's what they did back in the day. That would be part of heavily staging a shot. Crying babies are worth more money. Why is that? Because it means more drama. And drama moves people. Because <clears throat> that's all what photography is about. It's either about um, drawing you in, pushing you away, or stopping you. Which, by the way, is how Mother Nature works. Force in motion, inertia and acceleration, or to halt you. Because the only moving photographs are one of those three or a combination of those three. They either draw you in, they push you away, like, oh my god, that's so gruesome. Oh my god, I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> or they stop you. All good photography is like that. What an amazing secret. But that still doesn't answer the question. 80% of all beloved photos are heavily staged. Did you know that? Over 80%, I would say. The rest of the 20% being like, wow, there's something awesome. There's like a duck over there rollerblading. It's like super secret. And there's a picture of Sasquatch. You know. Even those are staged, really, because the person perches out knowing something's going to happen, and then they capture the magic when it goes down. It's just like a hunter hunts his prey, you know. Perches out in a tree, sticks out bait. Photographer, the rest of the 20% is kind of like that, too. So even that's a form of staging, but it's not heavily staged. So, Photographic mystery solved. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't solve it. Why do you think? I think I did solve it. Yeah. There we go. Bye.